Hey guys, hello, hello, how is it going? I hope you guys are doing well. So on the spirit of keeping things going today, this topic actually came through. So I'm curious of what you guys need to find out today. What y'all need to know. So this is how your ex is currently feeling about you, but we're gonna do a collective message. And then in a separate video, I'm going to go by Zodiac. So this is going to be for whoever needs to hear it for whatever resonating. Please smash that like button, guys. Please subscribe and please hit that notification bell. If you are not a part of this amazing channel, there's also a join button to join. But let's get started. Let's see what's going on with collective. How is the ex feeling about my collective? How is the ex feeling about my collective? Y'all, come on. Are you serious? We're definitely exploring the tea right now. Man, I don't care what's going on. I mean, I care, obviously. I love you guys. <laughs> but I honestly don't care what this ex is saying, what he's not saying, what he's doing, what he's not doing. This person still loves you. The I love you card came through right off the hop, right out of the gate, right out. Like, like let's just bat this up and, and baseball it right out. Like, that's the type of feeling, like, right out of the hop. This ex still loves you. Um... I think more and more now that you guys are kind of disconnected or not talking or separated or break up or whatever, like the case is with this certain connection, um, cause it is a collective message. So whatever's going on with you guys, I feel like they know deep down that you only ever really matter to them. And I felt, feel like this particular connection situation relationship whatever the case is it was very rough and it's not to say that you guys didn't love each other because i generally feel like you guys did love each other but i felt like at the time when this person decided that the breakup needed to happen or they needed space from you that it was just very an overwhelming um time frame but not even a time frame but just like I feel very overwhelmed. So I would say that this person was feeling very overwhelmed in this connection with you, very overwhelmed in general. But it's like now that they're away from you, it's like, dang, man, like this person actually was the only thing that like mattered or if it wasn't like that, it was just like you only matter to them. And I feel like they're reflecting on that now. What else is this ex currently feeling? What else is this ex currently feeling? They miss holding you. They miss talking to you. They miss engaging with you. I felt like the way that they were with you, they're having a hard time being that way with other people. That makes me sense. Like you guys had a really close bond in general. Like I, I, I feel like there was such a strong connection that both of you didn't realize what this connection, what the lesson behind that connection was. Right. I, I feel like they miss engaging with you. They miss talking to you. They miss asking about your day. They miss checking in. I do feel like you cross this person's mind a lot. They um they even be it's a feeling of like wanting to reach out and talk to you at the same point. They're not sure if like you'll even reciprocate those feelings, right? They're not even sure if you'll pick up and talk to them. How else is this ex feeling as a collective message, please? You are the light keeping me going. I need you more than I let on. There was something about your aura. There was something about your light. There was something about who you were. You know, maybe even though through all of that hardness, all of that obstacles, all of that challenges, as hard as this connection was to maintain, I feel like there was still something about you that stood out. And now that they've had time apart from you, now that they've seen, you know, all the other people out in the world or whoever is in their energy field right now, they're kind of pondering or kind of reflecting on the fact that, you know, maybe it wasn't so bad being with you, right? Maybe it wasn't so bad being in this connection with you. You know, maybe there could have been more that they could have done to save this connection. There could have been more that they could have done to, to fix what initially felt broken for some of you is kind of what I'm feeling like I, I was... I'm feeling like there was more than one issue that came through. Um, but there's just something about you. 
And I feel like they're they're kind of really holding on that. Let me see what else I can get. I feel like this person, again, like I said earlier, they want to reach out to you. They're going to be calling you. I don't feel like this connection's over for them. I feel like if there's been space between you guys, the space was needed. But this person's going to be reaching out because I feel like they're realizing, like, they, they want to know how you're doing. They want to know if you're okay. What does this ex wish to say to this collective? What does this ex wish to say to this collective? Shifting, um, attitude, altitude or attitude, change of perspective and outlook. This person's having a change of attitude. It's like they're shifting. Now that they've had this time to kind of step back and just kind of think about what they want in their life, think about where they're headed, think about what they want out of connections and relationship. Being away from you has made them realize that maybe this connection with you meant a lot more to them than they ever let on. Because something's really shifted within them. You've changed me for the best. This person was like unexpected. Like what they learned from you was so unexpected that it's that feeling of no matter what, you'll always be in this person's heart. You changed them. This person was talking to other women or other men, however it resonates, take it, but they were inter they were um, talking, even if, you didn't know this, or even if intuitively you felt this, this person was engaging with other people. I don't want to lose you. My life makes no sense without you next to me. This person being separated from you, it's it's kind of like I don't even know who I am anymore. I don't even I don't even recognize myself. The things that I used to laugh about, the things that I used to do, the music I listen to. You know, I feel like so much has shifted with them because you were such a, a strong part of their worlds, but you were also such a strong part of like who they became. And it's like you are such a strong chapter of their lives <coughs> that for them, it's like a part of them really wants that back. Says so she or he didn't mean anything. I felt like or I feel that whoever they may have distracted themselves with or entertain, it may have been out of lust. It may have been out of, you know, just that newness. It was feeding their ego or something on the line of that. But it was initially, they're starting to realize that this other person and they couldn't, you're not, re, you, they can't replace you. Maybe they thought they could. Maybe they thought that life would be so much easier and better and more balanced and et cetera, et cetera, and all this other stuff. But it's like now they're realizing now that they have time apart. And maybe you didn't come crawling back. Maybe you didn't chase them. Maybe you didn't reach back out to them. Maybe you just started pouring all of that energy into you that once you were pouring into them. And now it's like you're not feeding that source anymore. And they're kind of like, whoa, what happened? You know, why am I feeling this certain way about this person? I'm going to marry your crazy ass. This person thinks you're crazy. Let's just put that out there. But they also feel like they they saw marriage with you. They saw long term with you. They they saw this as being something that they wanted. Right now, your energy between you guys is off. So I feel like the frequency level, the vibration level is off between you two right now. But yeah, they needed a break from you. They needed a break from this connection. I feel like they needed that break so they could really figure out, you know, truly what they need moving forward. What else is this ex currently feeling about? I know ghosting you was low. I don't know how to face to you what I need to share. So this person could have ghosted you. And I feel like they're kind of recognizing and going back and realizing, man, that was low of me to do that. I should have never done that to them. I should have never, I should have been open and honest and like discuss things as a real person and not just left. And maybe they ghosted because they were entertaining all these other people. And, you know, it just happened so quickly. Like, I don't know. I don't know the story, but it just feels like now they're kind of looking back on that and like, fuck, I really made a mistake here. This isn't what I wanted. I can't stand the idea of you with anyone else. When they sit down and they have that alone time to think and they're by themselves, especially at night, 
this person's like, I, I just, th that person's mine, right? The thought of anyone else touching you, making love to you, being near you, it's, it's driving them nuts because they don't know what's going on in your life. They don't, they don't know what's going on in your mind. They don't, they don't know. Right. So it's a sense of like, I don't like it. I don't like the idea that someone else could be loving my person. I have a lot of distractions right now, work, family, third party, money, other people. So, I mean, right now where it stands, your ex is, I would say, still connected to you really strongly. They're still loving you. Um, they still have love for you. They're still thinking about you all the time. They're wondering what you're doing, who you're with, uh, wondering why you haven't reached out. I definitely feel like they're keeping themselves busy with work or family or the other, the other woman or man that they're dealing with. They want to come back and then take this slow with you, though. I do for whatever reason. Some of you, this person wants a second chance. How is this ex feeling about this connection? They feel like they were screwed over or they screwed you over. For whatever reason, they feel burned or manipulated because of the situation. They had a lot of toxic people around them when this connection went to shit. So maybe they had a lot of people in the ear telling them what they should do and they listened to them. I had a threesome, so maybe they were involved in a threesome. But it's like they want to come back because none, none of that shit even matters. You know, when you think about it, none of that shit even matters. It's like, whatever. That's, that's not what I want. I, I want my person back. I want this other person. I think this person's coming back around to tell you that. Like, yeah, you know, I did some things that I'm not really proud of. But none of that, none of that even matters because I know where I want to be. They know that you never deserve this. They know you never deserve to be ghosted. They know you never deserve to be treated like shit. They know that you never deserve to be put off. You know, they know that you deserve that apology. Again, someone felt really threatened or bothered when it came to this connection. And then I have, I feel so stupid for portraying you. It's like they're going on in their mind. Like, how did I let these people convince me? How did I let these people pull me away from the one person that I felt so in love with and so connected with? And it's like, even though time has passed, whether it's been a couple months, couple weeks, couple years, it's like, I'm still thinking of my person. I'm still connected to my person. I'm still loving my person. How do I still feel all of this? Like, how did I, how did I let myself get in this position? Right? How did I let someone else convince me that my person didn't love me or my person didn't care about me or like, you know what I mean? It's like this person's really in their head right now. Cause they're like, man, I, I give anything to talk to this person again. What else can I say for the collective? How is this person feeling for the collective? Shit, the cards are flying tonight, y'all. Cards are flying. Yeah, look at this. She doesn't mean anything. Distracting myself from thinking and feeling. You know, so for some of you, your person's been drinking a lot since you guys broke up, disconnected. Because I feel like even now being with this other person, it doesn't feel right. Maybe, you know, I just heard maybe he reaches for the bottle to get drunk or intoxicated. And that's how he's sleeping with her or him right? They're so consumed with the betrayal they felt that they betrayed you and the fact that they're missing you so much and that they still love you so much that the only way for them to be happy or connect with anyone else is to literally drink. And I feel like that's a reflection of, you know, them not taking the time to do what they needed to do properly. But this person wants to come back around because they want to make it up to you. They're not done with this connection. This person, I feel like this person's going to come back and lay it all out. Like, this is what happened. This is why I left. This is why I ghosted. This is why I walked away. This is what happened when I was away. But the, none of that matters. None of that I want. I don't even care. I give that all up to be with you. My stupidity, I treated you poorly. Please forgive me. This person's going to come back asking for forgiveness. I want love in my life. This person gave away. They fucking up and left and gave their love away. They were so intimidated by the love that you were trying to share with them that they up and left that. They left the one person in this entire world that actually genuinely loved and cared about them and they walked into the arms of someone else. Well, guess what? That's your own stupidity now, right? 
y'all, you're going to get an unexpected text message or call from this person. It's going to be out of the blue. So spirit is literally saying you're not going to see this message coming from them because they want you back. They know they need to be with you. They know what their heart is telling them to do. <clears throat> Mark my words. This is not over. I'm coming back. I told you guys. Who, if this is resonating with you and this is your story and I'm on point, drop me down in the comments. Let me know. But I'm telling you, this person's coming back because they, they want you as their girlfriend, boyfriend. They want a second chance to make this relationship work. All right. Let me see. You would never understand even if I explained it. This person doesn't know how to explain this to you. They don't know how to explain why they truly walked away. They're so in their feelings. They're so in their head right now about this. Something I've never told you. It's like, maybe it's a threesome. Maybe like, there's just so much. There's something that they want to come back and tell you. Exposed. This person might be about to be exposed. Maybe spirits coming down and exposing this person for who they truly are. Maybe someone that they're dealing with gets exposed. And you hear about it. I didn't know how to share what I needed to. So I feel like that could be another reason why they left. They didn't know how to open up to you. They didn't know how to share what they needed to. I cheated a few times. This person was dirty. They played dirty. They cheated. You know, and I feel like intuitively for some of you, you knew that this person was being unfaithful. And still, I feel like because of your loyalty and your love towards this person, you put up with a lot. And I feel like now your person, now that you two aren't together, they are taking that second to realize just how much you love them and how much they put you through. You know, this time apart has really made this person realize things. Like, fuck, I really put this person through it. I really hurt this person. I betrayed this person. Of all the people in my life, this was the one person that was always there for me, that was always listening, that was always loving on. Like, you know what I mean? I did everything possibly to hurt this person. And yet, at the end of it, they still loved me. And I felt like they are just going in their head right now. Of like, how did I screw this up so bad? How did I get to this point where I, I put so much... And I trusted all the wrong fucking people. And I listened to all the wrong people. And now my life is a fucking mess. And now I'm I'm in over my head. And I don't know what to feel or think anymore. Mm -hmm. This is some tea, guys. Drop a like. Let me know if this resonates for you. No one has touched me this way. That scares me to be that vulnerable with you. Psst. Guess what? The grass wasn't so great right now, was it? Right? Like, come on. Of course. You thought you could replace. You thought that I was crazy. We were crazy. This relationship was crazy. You thought because as hard as it was, you were not willing to fight for the connection. And you went to where it was easy. Guess what? Karma's a bitch. <laughs> this makes me happy collective are you as happy as i am all right uh, anything else that i need to share with the collective this is some tea i don't know if i want to stop i could just do all night i am so lonely without you this person's thinking about you y'all they're in their head like i said this person's in their head they're in their head i want a family with you they want to move in. They want to buy a house. They want to get married. They want to have a baby. They want to come back and make it right. They, you are it. And it took walking away and leaving this situation for them to realize that. I'm looking for you. You know what? I wouldn't be surprised if this person's not driving by your house that night. Trying to see you out, out and about. Asking friends about you. Like, hey, how is so-and-so? How is so-and-so doing? Do you still talk to them? Just, just to check in to see how you're doing. They're looking for you. <clears throat> you were always more important to me than I let on. They thought more logical with their mind than their heart. 
Again, they had a, this person had a lot of third third party interference, man. Y'all, lots of third party interference. All right, let me wrap this up, guys, before I get carried away here. I am not me without you. You're the other half of me. This person was like, man, this is my best friend. She was my best friend. She was, she was my soulmate or he. I feel like when this person's alone, that's when it really hits them that they lost their best friend. They lost the one person in the whole entire world that gave a fuck about them. They miss holding you. They miss being close to you. It's not the same. Where that wherever they are, whatever they're doing, if you get anything from this this video, if you're seeing this video, it means you're directly needing to hear from it. They're not happy. They miss you. They terribly miss you. They loved everything about you, even if they never even told you that. And they are ashamed of themselves. They're ashamed of their actions towards you. Uh, give me a couple more about how the ex is feeling, please, Spirit. All right. Now we'll wrap this up, guys. All right. I love you today, tomorrow, and always. Was just a fool for not admitting it. I told you. They fucking still love you. I don't care what they say. I don't care if this person is married with someone else. Social media looks like this person's hopping in another relationship. Y'all, it's all it's all a fab. It's it's all fake. It's all fake. I'm telling you. Love of my life, all I need. This person is coming back, whoever this ex is. And if this video is connecting with you, this specific person, this ex of yours is coming back to tell you you are the love of their life and they're they're sorry. They're sorry. They should have seen it when they seen it. There was a lot of lies and deception going on in this connection with this person. A lot. I have my mother's ring. They want to propose to you. For some, they're late. Their mother has passed on. Um, and they have their mother's ring. And it's they've always known since meeting you that you were supposed to have that ring. For some of you, the mother has given them the ring, her ring to give to you. So that's very specific right there. And please give me grace. Forgive me. So they're coming back in because they want grace from you. They want forgiveness. What are you going to do, collective? All right. If that resonates with you, drop down in the comments. Let me know. Hit that like button, guys. Hit that notification bell. Subscribe to this channel. And I'll talk to you guys soon.